Hello everyone, this is Amanda. This is my channel, Amanda Random, and today I'm making a what's in my purse video, but um, we're also going to be, I mean, I'm so afraid to even look in there, um, we're going to be putting everything into my new purse as well, um, and I also have a problem. I do have like two other purses, one that's over there, one that's on the other side of this island, um, and they're still also filled with things <laughs> I think that I need in my purse. So I don't know if we're going to go through all three purses and try to combine them into one new one, or if we're just going to tackle this. So um, if you guys are interested to see what's in my purse, I know these are videos that a lot of people like watching. Um, I enjoy watching them myself. So... If you're ready for this, let's jump right into whatever might be lurking in this purse. Alright, so first, I know a lot of you are going to ask me um, what purse this is. Um, this is just a purse that I got from Goodwill, as well as this one. Um, that's something I love to do. If you guys are new to my channel and you like Goodwill hauls, Go check out some of my vlogs because I swear to God there's Goodwill hauls in like every vlog. So, if you are a mom like me, a diabetic like me, or if you just happen to love you some big purses, then this is totally probably relatable to you that you carry one of these big old things and you just fill it full of a little bit of everything you can find. So... Um, here is the insignia on one of the little buttons. Um, now inside there is so much stuff. So, so much stuff. Um, there is a tag and it is a Liz Claiborne. I completely forgot that this was Liz Claiborne. So, um, I don't know what they were kind of thinking with this purse, but the reason I liked it is because to me it was kind of weird. It was this off kind of like green leather look. And then on the inside, I don't know, like reminded me of a big old watermelon because I don't know how well this color is showing up, but this is like a, a, a pink with white polka dots. So, um, yeah, I guess it is a Liz Claiborne and it is huge. It has served its purpose, but it is so heavy and I hate carrying it by the straps. Um, so let's tip this over some. I'm going to see if I can set you guys up. Maybe over here. See if I can pull you up a little. I don't know what is even in here. Um, so I'm kind of nervous. I'm going to admit I'm kind of nervous. Um, and disclaimer, um, I am working on some new tattoos um because I need a bunch of cover-ups so um don't judge my hands or my arms if you see there's some stuff going on here um this is all just in the process of getting made and also if you hear a bunch of noises over off the camera over yonder somewhere there is a little man who is busy playing on the floor while I do this all right I know you guys are screaming to Hurry up and get into it. So let's get into it. So there is this zipper pocket over here. Um, I'm going to make sure there's nothing showing as far as... Yeah. <laughs> um, I have a Bath and Body Works um, mail. It was some stuff for their Christmas sales and whatnot. Um, I have this covered up so you can't see my address. But it... I love Bath & Body Works. Again, I have hauls on my channel. I have some you guys can go and check out. I just got some amazing scents for um, fall and Christmas. I, If I remember, I'll put a little eye card up here in the corner if you want to check those vlogs out that have those hauls in them. So I do also have a coupon for some more. I have no room for all this stuff. I don't even know what I'm going to do with this. Um, speaking of Bath & Body Works... <laughs> I have my bright Christmas morning candle going. Ooh, so aesthetically pleasing. And the candle base that you guys see. 
Love it. That is also a Bath and Body Works product. An expensive one, no less, but what is an expensive from there? So the next thing in my purse, we're going to continue with the Bath and Body Works, <laughs> I guess, um, because this is a new scent that they just came out with this year, and this is the Pure Wonder Bath and Body Works, and this is the Fine Fragrant Mist in a 2.5 fluid ounce. I love having these and smelling. Mm, so yummy, so yummy. So I did get one of these. These are perfect sizes to keep in your purse. I have that in there. Um, not in that spot, but also from Bath and Body Works. The top is broke. Um, this is another scent I carry with me at all times. This is A Thousand Wishes. Uh, right now I kind of open it like this and just rub it on my arms and my wrists because the top's broke. And then I just do, do this thing. Mm -hmm. So that's also in there. Um, I have from Bath and Body Works as well. I have the uh, Cucumber Melon 24-Hour Moisture um, Body Cream. I don't normally carry one around that's this big, this size, um, but I did have it in my purse because I was going to give it to my mom, and I haven't given it to her yet, so i got to make sure I do that because she loves Cucumber Melon too. Um, if you are new to my channel, I am a type 1 diabetic, so there are plenty of times that... My blood sugars go low. Um, speaking, we should check that real quick. 129, I'm getting a little better. Um, so I do carry things around like these Mega Smarty lollies. These are like total guilty pleasure. So whenever I have a low blood sugar, I love that I can pull one of these out and snack on it. So that was in there. I'm sure there's like a thousand receipts in this poor purse. I'm just pulling stuff out, you guys, and I'm putting it on the counter right down here. You probably can't see that, but I promise you, yep, yeah, we have Goodwill receipts, more Goodwill receipts, another Goodwill receipt. <laughs> There's got to be a Walmart receipt in here somewhere. Yep, Walmart receipt. So I can get rid of all of those. I should have really started a little bag off camera over here so I can put all my throwaway stuff. Um... Also in there, I just got these new Blistex from Walmart. Um, this is the Hemp and a, a Cy Berry um, Renewal from Blistex. This one is in, I don't even know if you can see this. I'm filming at such a weird angle. This one is Cherry Cream. And then this one is, can you see? Um, raspberry Ginger. So these are just some Blistex products because I absolutely always have to carry some type of chat stick with me so those are in there all right so the next product I have is actually something I'm going to throw in the garbage um this was a dollar general clearance item it's this wet and wild brand um here's the number it was 939a ride on my copper <laughs> And, you guys, this stuff is gross. <laughs> um, it's really gross. It goes on kind of shiny, but it gets really gunky, like, really super quick. Don't like that. So, that's probably not making the cut. Um, and the next thing I had in there was some more lip balm and this is from Remy Rose Cosmetics. I don't even know if you can see that. It's super small. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this from the Dollar Tree and it's just kind of like one of those little EOS um, ones. And what is this? I don't know but I do not like, I just tried it on. I do not like this. Um, Ew, why do I carry all this stuff around and I don't even like it? All right, I digress. So that was it for this back pouch. I know you guys can't really see, um, but that was it for there. Let's see if I move this. You can kind of see without maybe dropping my phone. There's nothing in this little zipper part anymore. That's where all that was. Let's go into the next part. 
Um, I don't even want to show you this because I'm so embarrassed because it's filled with makeup and it needs to be clean. So I do have a mask in here for just places that still require them. Um, and obviously because of COVID, these have become a freaking staple, which I just, ugh. Uh, I know someone's going to probably ask, this little keychain I have on here um, is also from the Dollar Tree, so if anybody wants to go find one of them, it's really super cute, but it is just from the Dollar Tree. Uh, I have a another mask in here that needs to be <laughs> washed as well. If you guys can hear some noise in the background, I apologize, my wash machine is going how far can I move this back? I have some, I'm going to check this. I have some mail. Um, I can't show you because we got stuff on the front of this. But yeah, some mail over here. I also have this. I, I have an Ipsy subscription. And I have a phone that just never wants to stop making noise. Um, simmer down now, Snapchat. So this is just one of the Ipsy bags I got. I think it was the one from October. Um, I really like it. It's got like this really cool little bright green lipstick um, as the little thing for the zipper. I do have words. Um, speaking of being a type 1 diabetic, I'm sure I've said that how many times here. Um, my pump just recently broke, so right now I am waiting on a replacement pump, and I have no choice but to use some Atlantis and Novolog, so that's what is in here, as well as, well as um, some needle covers. So that's pretty much all I have in here right now. I also throw my Dexcom receiver in there when I go somewhere, um, if I don't carry it right on me. So... Something about me, I love being organized to some degree, um, so I like putting a lot of different things in these bags, because for one, they're super cute when they're from Etsy, and if you got them, you might as well use them, so you're going to laugh when you probably see me pull out um, a bunch more of these random bags and things, because, yeah, they're all Ipsy, um, so in this bag... Just really cute. Again, I have no idea what months these were from, but this is the 100th Ipsy Glam Bag. I don't know, it says that on the back of this one. And inside this one, I have things like Wet n Wild. I'm not even in frame. Wet n Wild um, lipstick. I don't know if you guys even care about the colors, but I'll kind of just show you. I have tampons bunch of tampons. I also carry like an eyeliner. So this is just like an LA Colors eye marker. I have some, this is a Dollar Tree, I believe like a Zizo brand. I can't ever remember, but I'm pretty sure that's what this is. And this is just lip gloss. Um, this is also some lip gloss. This is um, really old lip gloss. So I should probably throw it away. This is iced plum lip gloss. But let me tell you, this stuff was amazing. I love this stuff. Um, I have another liquid eyeliner in here. I don't even know where this one's from. I think this was this from Bonnie Bell or something like that. Um, this OFRA brand was an Ipsy thing that I got. It's long-lasting lipstick in Mocha. And what else is in here? This is Remy Rose. I believe this is a Dollar Tree lipstick as well. And this one is called Emily. So that was all that's in this one. Um, like I said, some of this stuff, I don't even think I'm going to keep in here. Because, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to use it all. But, you know, whatever I guess. I'm going to put all those back in there. Um, zip this one back up and put it to the side. I also have another random receipt that I can throw away. Another Ipsy bag. Um, inside this one is actually some products I can't show you. So, that's what's in there. I also, I also keep all of our, um, 
fortunes from our fortune cookies when we go out to eat because I love using them in my journals. So again, this one just has some odds and ends in it. This, I don't even know why it's still in my purse, but I love it. Um, my phone does fit in it. Um, I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. That was a breath, a breathful, a mouthful. Um, I have a big clunky case kind of on it, but it does fit in this. Um, I don't know about zipping it with this one, but still, for a little extra protection, it does have the little wristlet, and I love this bag. I really do, but um, I usually use it if I don't have any protection or a case on my phone, and then I throw it in here. That way it keeps it from, you know, getting all gunked and did up. Uh, it looks like I have some notes and <laughs> some more crap I don't need in here. Um, another Ipsy bag. <laughs> I told you guys, be ready for this. Um, this one has in it a Avon Big Color Dazzler Sparkling Eye Pen. So apparently I thought I needed that too. So, mm hmm That's what's in there. And then, because it's not restocked, I usually have like breath mint or peppermint or something in here. Um... Usually more than that, but, uh, and then I also have my Vaseline. I love this stuff for lip gloss. Like, I'm serious, you guys. I have Vaselines or, not Vaselines, I have lip glosses everywhere. So that's all that's in that one. <laughs> I have this Curad brand first aid portable pack, which is ideal for travel. There's 15 things in here, and it's in a water-resistant pouch. Another thing that is from Dollar Tree. Kind of shows you on the back what's all in there. Um, there's 15 items. There's Band-Aids, sterile wipes, alcohol swabs. So that was, I think, in one of my bags. Um, I also have this. I'm going to open this off camera because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, these are some doctor notes and things that were just thrown in there. I have some triple antibiotic cream that needs to be in one of my bags, and it wasn't. That's annoying. Oh, let's pour some more out of here. Okay, is that it? Nope, nope, there's more. I'm just dumping everything in this little section into this area. Again, we have more lip gloss. Like, I'm, I swear to God, I probably have the softest lips you've ever seen. But I love these things. I have to have them around. So there's that. Um, this is another Dollar Tree product that I freaking swear by, you guys. I've had the worst, like, colds. And this is the Value Health Severe Daytime Non-Drowsy Cold Multi-Symptom um, Caplet. These work. So do the green brand. That's more just for nasal stuff, but I carry some of these around with me. I have a glasses case here. Nice hard one so nothing, you know, gets broken. Um, I have my little glasses. I don't know. I guess it's like a little toolkit. There's extra screws in there, and then there's the piece for it. Um, this is like a little, little screwdriver, plus there's like an extra nose piece. So if I carry an extra pair with me or something happens to the ones I have on, I have a hard case to put them in. These, you guys, okay, so somewhere below this video, you're going to see my Amazon storefront. And if you go check that out, I have a lot of the stuff that I really like listed in there. And I purchased these on my on Amazon. And like I said, they're in my Amazon store. So these are the Baxendale and Company. These are amazing. So if you guys have ever seen um, the Java socks or anything like that, that hold your cold drinks or your hot drinks, whatever. Um, these are so close to those and they're um, trying to get you guys in frame. I don't know what's what you can see and what you can't. Uh, these are amazing. That's what they are. And they come in how many different sizes. They work for Starbucks sizes. They work for um, Dunkin' sizes. They work for McDonald's cups. Like, 
You can get a big Diet Coke and put it in this one. Um, so there's the large, there's the medium, and there's a small. Like, you guys, if you don't like your drinks like sweating or whatever or getting wet in your cup holders or anything, these are washable. They're made of the neoprene. I can't... I can't tell you enough good things about these. I keep them in my purse because I seriously use them every time I get a Coke. I should say a Diet Coke. Every time I get a large caramel frappe because that's a guilty pleasure. Yeah. So I also have this. Um, I know this has makeup in it or did at one point too. Um, so I have some B&B &B from Sassy and Chic. This is in a medium one. This is what I usually use for touching up my foundation and things, so I carry that with me. I have some L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder that I carry with me. <laughs> Do I use any of this stuff? Hardly freaking ever, but I guess it's better to have it than not when you want it. Um, this is Color Mates Powder in a Natural Beige. This looks gross. I don't even know what this is. It's a lip lacquer from e.l.f. That's going in the garbage. I think that's the top that must have broke off of it. And then, something important to always carry with you. A clippers. Because you never know when you're going to have to fix your nails. Or clip one off. Or something like that. So, there's nothing in the little zipper pad. Or zipper area of this little one. I seriously am addicted to... What in the heck is this? I don't even know what this is. I don't know. But I am addicted to these little pouches because they just keep everything where you want it. Um, I also have this in there. This is a, I think I got it out of my Ipsy bag, Glow On Fifth Beauty Keep It Handy Chamomile Hand Cream. So that was in there. Dun, 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 dun. That was all that was in that. Oh my gosh, I already have like such a huge pile over here. Mm -hmm. Why this was in my purse, I don't know. But this is from, where did I get this from? Dollar General. And it says, I'm not a social butterfly. I'm a sarcastic moth, which is just totally me. And it is a cigarette case. Um, I like having these because if I ever do randomly go out, I like having something that I can put my money in and you can carry a lighter, you can carry cigarettes, you can carry a little thing of like your roller on, um, smelly stuff, like whatever you want. So these little cigarette cases, you can seriously like throw them inside your jacket pocket and they'll hold all your crap. And I had to get it because it says this and I love the colors. Like this is just aesthetically pleasing and it's totally me. Dollar, true, dollar General, like I said. So, that was everything in that part. Um, we have my Big Mama Jamma wallet because that's another reason I need a big purse because I carry a big wallet, okay? I have a lot of stuff that I have to do and keep track of and bills to pay. So, I know everyone's going to ask me. This is a wallet that I got from Fleet Farm. I cannot, I can't even really see that very well. I think it's picking up on camera though. So that is the brand of the wallet. I beat this sucker up and it is so big. Like there's a back thing here. There's a zipper part here that has, you know, all of my important stuff in it. There's a middle zipper part so that you can keep changing things. <coughs> Excuse me. I have been talking so much. Um, I can't show you the inside. Maybe I can show you some of it, I guess. Um, there's all of my cards and my driver's license. There's all of my beautiful children. Parker looks so young in this one. Um, but this is Jasmine's school picture for the year. And this is Avery's school picture for the year. Parker is now 21 years old. I don't even know when this picture is from. But that's my babies when they were babies. My babies. Um... And then I keep things like, believe it or not, a winning lottery ticket because I never win, so I never buy them, but I did win for once. I haven't even cashed it in. I have um, my checkbook and some other stuff in here, so that's about it that I can show you anyway. 
So, Big Mama Jamma wallet. Oh my gosh, there's just, it's like so deep. <laughs> there's so much stuff in here. Let me pull it, some of it forward again. Okay, more receipts, of course. Um, we got this little panda on a watermelon, and it's just some uh, hand sanitizer. So there's that. Um, I have my little poppy in here from donating to the Veterans Assistance Program. So I had that. I have a thing of ice breakers and spearmint. I'm pretty sure this is just like a list. Yep, there's a list. This is some more doctor stuff that I can't show. I have some big red gum that I've never even opened because I just purchased it. I have a Crocs handy lighter, you guys. When I light my candles from um, Bath and Body Works, I love these croc lighters because they have the longer end and you can just get in there and light your candles better. Um, so these are from Dollar Tree and I like picking them up for that exact purpose. And I don't even know why this one, I think I had it in there in case I wanted to leave it in my car or something. Not that I'm lighting candles in my car, but... Um, I also have this from a company. Um, this is from Zimp, and it's a really nice hard case. It's a company that um, sent me some free glasses and some free sunglasses and their prescription, you guys. If I can find the video, I will put an iCard up here if you want to check it out. Um, this company was amazing. I use these every single time I'm out driving and I also keep like a little cloth in here to clean them. Really love them. So that's in there. Did we go through all of that now? Of course not. Um, I have this lighter. I think this is so cool um, because it has skulls and it matches something I got, something else that I got. Um, I love skulls and I love these colors, so I had to get this. And I, it's just like a torch lighter and it's a double torch. I think the flame changes colors. I don't even remember, um, but that was thrown in there. I have this thing. Like this video is gonna be forever. <laughs> I have just my charger blocks in here. Love this one. Love it. I'm pretty sure I got this from Walmart. Um, but these are just literally, you charge these little power banks up, and then you, if you're on the go and your phone's dying, you can plug your phone into this, and it'll charge your phone for you. I also have another one there and just a cord. So that's what's in here. I'm telling you, like, I could survive the apocalypse just by the stuff that I have in my purse. So, that was that. We also have this big old middle part. I'm afraid to even pull everything out of here. Um, okay, so I have this no boundary, um, this little phone sticker pocket for the back of your phone. This is a Dollar Tree product. Um, I really love, love, love tie-dyed and funky colors. So normally these are like five bucks. Dollar Tree had them for a buck. That's just thrown in there. Um, this is another Dollar Tree product. I love our Dollar Trees. There's nothing in there. Um, oh, so in here I just have some tattoo card things. And then in here I have a bunch more of the fortune cookie um, fortunes. Fortune cookie fortunes. So that's what's in this bag. I could, I should really need to downsize some of this, like for reals. Um, and here, Miss Type One Diabetic has some lifesaver gummies. Um, love these things. These are not even open. I just carry them around with me. Um, I also carry around some smaller masks for the little girl I babysat for if she's with me and or my daughter, which she hates those. Um, I also have some Secret Outlast Sweat and Odor Deodorant. Oh my good lord. Now you guys know why 
I have to have such big purses because I have to. Um, here's another mask. Those were all like supposed to be in the middle part together. I have some Carmex. All right, I'm pretty sure that's it for the middle part. That's it for this part. So, oh my gosh, we're down to just these little pockets, you guys. We're down to just them. So let me pull all this out. Oh, so much, so much stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, seriously. Okay, so we have, <laughs> you guys are like, why do you, for someone that does not smoke, um, I will actually take a puff of a cigarette if I'm like out drinking, but that means you have to have a social life. So I haven't been out drinking forever. Um, but my husband does smoke, so I do carry lighters and things like that around, especially when they're cute. So I do have a, um, I was just going to say a freaking Bugs Bunny. Are you kidding me right now? I have a Playboy Bunny, really funky lighter. I have one of these little toys because I am a child. Um, she is from the Dollar Tree as well. She's like a unicorn girl collectible or something out of a surprise bag. I saved her to give to Mia, the little girl I babysat for. Um, this is the size guide actually from the cup holders. So this is, um, it kind of shows you what it holds, the small will hold all of those, the medium will hold all of those, the large holds those. So I kept that apparently, apparently. Um, I have some more makeup. So this is some Avon Glazeware liquid lip stuff. I have some Dollar Tree LA Colors and a glitter gloss. I have my favorite Favorite scent in the entire world. I love, love, love Victoria's Secrets Crush. I do not, however, love anything in these roller balls anymore. So I have barely used this. And this is how much is left in here. Mm-hmm. Like this. That's about it. It literally evaporates. I keep this, like, straight up. So I don't know how the heck this gets used and just, mm-mm. I won't be buying the roller ball anymore. Uh, these are great to keep in your purse though, but when they just dissolve into nothingness, that's not fun. Um, I also have some Almay. I just actually found these and I really, really, really liked them. Um, they were on clearance at Walgreens. They have a clear top to them. And here is the bottom, if you guys want to try to read those, um, colors. But they're really nice. The this top part feels like it's like cardboard almost, but they're matte and I love them. Like I should throw away all that other crap and just keep these, um, because they're great. Uh, this is also some LA color thing that I like using over the top of some of these. It's always fun to put a little glitter lipstick glaze gloss on. Um, I have a another, is this seriously another one? I have another, like, practically brand new Vaseline Lip Therapy. I have a, another um, black eyeliner. This is the Black Noir. Um, so I have that. And then I have this. This is another Dollar Tree product. And it's annoying. And the fact that it's annoying, I love it. Okay? Like... I love it. I don't care. These are just those little, like, fidget toys. Um, when I walk through stores, I get, like, you know, you know how people get road rage when you're driving? Like, I get people rage when I'm in the store. And sometimes I have to, like, <laughs> take this out and I'll just hold it in my pocket, even with one hand, and pop it to try to calm me down or keep me from hurting people because, um, you know, sometimes you just want to run people over with carts, especially rude people that are just, ugh, we're not even going to go there. So this is from the Dollar Tree. I keep it with me in my purse. All right. So I'm going to double check this off camera here, but I am fairly certain you guys, yeah, that's everything. 
So my watermelon Liz Claiborne purse here, she is empty. I mean, you don't want to see it off. <laughs> I swear to God, every time I'm trying to do something. Okay, so, um, I literally have, you don't even want to see this mountain of stuff over here that now I get to go through. So, I'm going to do that off camera and then I will be right back. Alright, you guys. <clears throat> so, I kind of situated some of this. I went through some of it. And I want to show you guys now, if I can do this without dropping everything again. This is the purse that I am going to use for a while. Um... I just realized I don't have any of my other rings or my bracelets on and I feel like super naky. Um, but I was thinking I was going to use this little part to hold my phone. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking because that's as far as that beast is going to go in there. So this can be like a quick little access area to things if um, I need them. So I'm thinking I'm going to probably keep things like... Maybe these bad boys in there, because, you know, they'll fit. Maybe they'll fit. Maybe they won't fit. Oh, my God. So, those aren't even going to fit. So, this is strictly going to be... I don't even know what purse this is. Um, it's got tassels here, which I really like. I love these studs. They go all the way around down to the bottom where it's studded. So, if you... Um, set it down the bottom won't get really nasty and it has an actual shoulder strap as well as these straps um, I don't think there is honestly a brand in this one I thought that about the other Liz Claiborne one but I forgot and I don't see any like things on the zippers so I, I could not tell you where, where this purse is from. I did just seriously get this at uh, Goodwill. So, like I said, um, I'm trying to zoom out, but um, apparently I'm as zoomed out as I can be. So down here is strictly going to be just this tiny little area. Um, I'm going to throw something like one of these in there. I don't even know. Do people do this in their... What's in my purse? Do they throw all their other stuff in there, too? I'm going to throw my fidget spinner. That's not even a fidget spinner. What do you even call that? I'm afraid to set this up here and knock everything off. Um, What else do I want in there? I was going to put my sucker in there, but I'm not feeling the whole sucker vibe. Um, I guess I could throw a lighter in there. And I think that's probably all I'd put in there for right now. Um... Because that is really tight. That's a tight little fit. But it's in there. I know it's in there if I need it. So, so be it. Um, Now in the inside. I wish you guys could feel this. Like, I love the feel of this purse. I really do. Um, Alright, let me set this camera up again. Let's see if we can get all of this in here. Uh, I have so much crap on here been trying to make videos all day yeah I don't know um I know I want this in here but I want it to stand up oh there are some stand-up pockets but they're really close to the top I will show you guys what I'm talking about it's just really hard to do with one hand here um this is gonna fit in here and then I'm gonna fill some of this stuff up and then I'll kind of show you what I've done Guys, so I was going to show you me putting everything kind of in there, but I really, I don't, I don't have the time for that, so, or the patience, so you guys kind of know what I put in this little front part, um, all of my stuff that I wanted did fit, so I'm super excited about that, I got some of my faves right up top, and the rest is pretty much all just crammed in these things, and that's why I love all of my bags because they just keep everything super organized for me um so I can grab this big mama jamma she's pretty full and she's pretty heavy I ain't gonna lie but I like that I can zip this one shut nothing's gonna fall out in this back pocket right here um I'm fairly certain my phone is going to fit into this part and if not 
all the way, um, then I can at least leave it like this. That way I can pull it out when I'm shopping, if I need it right away and it's handy, um, cause it's not going to fit in this way, but it will fit in like that. <clears throat> so there she is. There's the new purse. So thanks so much, you guys, for hanging out with me. I was just trying something new um, with the whole switching of the purses and things like that. Um, it's been a requested video for me. So I had fun doing so, and now I get to use my new purse. Um, we'll see how long this one lasts before I end up changing it out again. You never know if you're going to find a really cool one at Goodwill or something like that. So... <laughs> If you are new to my channel, we would love it if you want to subscribe and join our random family. At the very end of this video, you'll see a little icon up in one of these corners up here of my face. And if you click it, it will help you to subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified of all of our random uploads. Um, and if you liked this kind of video, give me a thumbs up on this so that I know. And I also love, love, love reading your comments. Leave me some comments below about the kind of random weird stuff that you carry in your purse um, and all that good stuff. Even let me know what kind of purses you're carrying. I don't care if they're generic or brand name or whatever. I love uh, reading your comments and I love learning about all of my wonderful randoms out there. So thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and always stay random. I'll see you guys again soon.